A Pence box truck carrying supplies for Hurricane Florence victims flipped when its load shifted while on Interstate 95 at the Interstate 10 split. The driver, 37-year-old Timothy R.C., was discharged from U.S. Health around noon today. He had minor injuries from that crash. News for Jack's reporter Allison Henning learned he was traveling with three other people from the Florida Keys headed to the Carolinas with special cargo on board. A small group from the Isla Mirada community loaded up these trucks and set off for Charleston this weekend. But early Saturday morning, they had an unexpected stop in Jacksonville when one of their trucks overturned on I-95. It was filled with pallets of bottled water, two-thirds of the load destroyed as it went through the roof and onto the interstate. We saw crews using heavy machinery to clear all of the debris. Wood Campbell tells me the bottled water was part of a hurricane relief effort from the Upper Keys to the Carolinas. We were trying to return the favor because we were in Irma a year ago and a lot of people came down to help support us and, and brought down um, all kinds of supplies, relief supplies and, and labor and help. Over the past week, their community has come together gathering more than $20,000 worth of supplies for those affected by Hurricane Florence. You can see some of it here. We've got bleach canned goods and other essentials to help those who need it. Once we get this delivered, we're going to talk to the people that do our distribution and find out what they think the next phase is of items that they're going to need. And then we're going to again regroup and, and try to make another run. As for his friend who was hurt in the crash, Campbell is thankful that the man who spearheaded this trip is going to be OK. He feels worse about losing the supplies than he does about getting injured. So I mean, <laughs> that's the kind of guy he is. Allison Henning, Channel 4, The Local Station.